when you're ready, eh? Hi, I'm Ed Gamble, and as the UK's premier type 1 diabetic, I sometimes find it a bit of a hassle to eat desserts. So, I brought my friend James Acaster here to Chin Chin Labs to eat one for me. This is Just Puddings. Regular ice cream takes a few hours to get frozen. This just uh, takes about 15, 20 seconds uh, to get it ready. What flavor is this? This is Tonka bean, which is kind of vanilla. It's a different bean from the Amazon, so it tastes like vanilla, almost cinnamon, and different things on it. Oh. So then I just take um, the liquid nitrogen. And that's just in that jug? Yeah, and then you just pop Whoa. it in. What temperature is the, is the liquid nitrogen at? Yeah, so it's under almost 200 degrees. It's quite a lot of splashing out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would have thought happened. that's dangerous. It would terminate to you and stuff. Has anyone ever died making liquid mm. nitrogen ice cream? No. Be really. honest. <laughs> no. Brownie cookie in the bottom. Then we put some marshmallow in it. What? Then. That's not on the menu, is it? No, it is not. But also, for reference then... for everyone back home, it's, it's half ten in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to get a bit of everything. You know what? You know I like you to get a bit of everything. Yes. I think there's more things under there as well. Is there? I think there's another brownie cookie under there. Well, I've got quite a lot of the top one. Yeah, but I want you to get a bit of everything. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not experiencing it properly. You need every layer. This looks absolutely delicious, but this is what we would call a day ender. <laughs> I could eat it and inject half a cartridge of insulin, but that would I would have to go and have a full nap afterwards. Now, for you, James, this would be this is half ten. This is a day starter. Yeah, this is a starter for lunch. In it goes. Pop it in. Oh, oh. Unlock your jaw. That's it. Now I wanted you to leave that bit there. Oh, how is it? So, for one, it's amazing, but also all the flavours are a lot more subtle than you would think. Right. So it's actually not like you, you look at that. Yeah. And you think. It's going it's to it's be a sweet apocalypse. I think this will be a day ender. It's mm. going to be too much. But actually, it's all it all really complements each other very nicely. So it makes one quite smooth. You get that the brownie is like the first thing you get, and the marshmallow is just toasted enough to give it like it's like to take you back to the campfire a little bit. To take you back to when you were at an American summer camp. When I was at American summer camp drinking bug juice. No bugs in there. I think I think you might have been tricked, mate. I think you might have drunk some bugs. Who's the best person to share this with, do you think? I think uh, this is like maybe someone on a, your second date. Second date? Yeah, and you've gone out for the daytime, little walk, have one of these, go home and see what happens. Personally, uh, nothing is going to happen after I've eaten this. Sure, you're going to I'd lay share down. this with someone and I go, listen, love, I'll be honest, today's a write-off. Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll be able to put some shelves up. I think after eating this. Shall I get it? It's dripping. Get it in, get it in, mate. Uh, here we go. With the chin chin chocolate. Bit of everything. I can hear the chin chin chocolate crunching. Mmm. Oh yeah. But also for that one, had a lot more of the marshmallow. Yeah. Which I think is my favourite bit of it. Is it? But, uh, I think marshmallow is always my favourite. And that's a secret off-menu item. So, so the secret off-menu item. Yeah, I feel like I'm in an American summer camp on a second date. Are you on a date at the summer camp? Yeah, I'm at a camper. Oh, you, are you? Sorry, are you a kid at the summer camp? Yeah. Going on a date with one of the people who runs the camp, or? Well, realistically, they are the ones who would have access to secret off-menu items. So right. yes, probably. So what you're saying is this tastes sort of fun but also quite illegal, like the memory of something illegal. Something that when I'm older, I may take someone to court for. Yeah. The sort but of that people... is what every dessert should taste like. Borderline illegal. Uh, I'm sorry, Ice Cream, we're going to have to arrest you for being borderline illegal and sentence you to, um, to ten years in James's tummy prison. I like the fact that you can just uh, arrest someone for being borderline illegal. <laughs> I mean, normally, they have to... 
yeah, outline what the yeah. crime was. There's no, there's no courtrooms in the You're world of dessert. Illegal. If there was, this would be the judge. Would it? Yeah. But aren't we also prosecuting it? <laughs> judge and jury. Oh, I think I'm Judge Puddings, actually. <laughs> um, I sentence you, Ice Cream, uh, to uh, a short stay in James's mouth before being transferred to James's tummy. <laughs> Judge Puddings, court is in session. I've heard you're quite famous for the toppings at Chinchin yeah, House. Well, we've got a few which are particularly popular. Uh, some of them do pair a bit better with certain flavours, and we'll be able to sort you out with that, no doubt. But uh, particularly with our specials, we've got a basil crumble at the moment, which we've brought in fresh. Basil crumble? Mm. That sounds like a, a sort of old sitcom character. Oh, hello, yeah. I'm basil crumble. Don't mention the s'mores. <laughs> Would you like a little taste of basil crumble, <laughs> madam? Yes, please. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Are you handing me a spoon? I'm handing you a spoon. The basil crumble. What's nice about that? Mm. To begin with, I was like, I can't really taste anything. And then the flavour, it rises like a mist. And then the sweetness emerges through the mist. Yeah. So it's like st it's like stars in their eyes when someone someone yeah. says, I'm going to be. Basil crumble. Basil crumble, and they come and out then, and do the character. They emerge that you're like, well, ooh, what's it going to be like? I don't know what he's going to look yeah. like. And then he comes out and he's sweeter than you imagine. Yeah, and the sweetness just rests on your molars. Ah. It's rested on my molars there. Look at that, as if by magic. Bada bing. <laughs> wow. So we've got the burnt butter caramel here. That is perfect. I've made sure this happens, James, because I know burnt butter caramel is going to be right up your street. Uh, my suggestion would be the grilled white chocolate for you there. Grilled white chocolate. That is what I choose. How do you well. make this? Uh, that I cannot tell you. Can't uh, tell me. It is grilled, <laughs> but I cannot tell you how we do that. It's grilled, I but love, the rest of it is a secret. I love a secret. I like a secret. I've got so many secrets. Tell me one. I uh, keep all my money in a bag under my bed. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone somewhere. Transcendent. The burnt flavour mm -hmm. soars over your tongue. Just so, like an eagle. Like an eagle. Like an eagle on the wind. Like a burnt eagle. An even rarer eagle than a golden oh. eagle. Golden, because yeah. you get a golden eagle and then you turn up the heat a bit more. Yeah. You get that burnt, that burnt eagle. Or Icarus, because he famously flew too close to the sun and burnt his wings. Yeah. I feel like I've flown just the right distance to the sun. Crunchy and creamy, sweet and salty. Hashtag forever. Burnt and butter. Sorry, that's the hashtag now, forever. Yeah, hashtag forever, the number four and then ever, and then hashtag burnt and butter. This, burnt butter caramel. Every step of the way. Three equal parts, like free tea, Michael Jackson's nephews. And th if there's anything you like more than puddings, it's honesty, isn't it? Yeah. So it's an honest pudding that presents itself. Honest pudding. Yeah. Which is rare to come by in this world. We you know a lot of puddings, you can't trust them. I feel in good hands here. Yeah. Here comes the latest culprit. <laughs> this guy has been very naughty indeed. It's a ball of the tonka bean, as you had before. Yes. But he's had chocolate poured on his head, and it's actually frozen. So this is chocolate head in the cinnamon. OK, here we go. Judge Puddings sentences you, um, Chocolate Head and the Cinnamon, to ten years in, in Tommy Prison. Ten years? Take them away! I mean, they'll probably be out by tomorrow. Delicious, the crunch. Oh, <coughs> that is crackling all over my mouth. Crackling? Yeah, a crackle. <coughs> oh, man, <Ed. coughs> <laughs> Some of it. it's got Sorry, I think James has gone mad because this is his <laughs> third ice cream for breakfast. Three bits of ice... I'm 32. <laughs> I'm 32 years old. This is my third ice cream for breakfast. You know what I mean? And the cinnamon toast is in my throat. I'm worried that we're facilitating <laughs> James's breakdown. <laughs> I've never been so happy. <laughs> Thank you. Now, what they've done with that water is they've, they've actually poured chocolate onto it, so it's hardened on the top. <laughs> this, is, this, this is a cup of maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it in, baby.